Greetings folks. Today we're diving into the topic of best ways to lose belly fat. Now, belly fat is a common issue that many people grapple with. It's not just about aesthetics, but it's a health concern too. Having excess belly fat can lead to serious health issues like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and even certain types of cancer. Beyond these risks, it's also about your overall health and well-being. Maintaining a healthy weight can improve your energy levels, boost your mood, and even enhance your sleep quality. It's a holistic approach to health, where every aspect is interconnected. So, it's not just about losing that belly fat, but about embracing a healthier lifestyle. Over the next few minutes, we're going to explore different methods that can help you on this journey. From diet to exercise, sleep, and even stress management, we've got it all covered. So, stay tuned as we delve into the various methods to lose that stubborn belly fat. Firstly, let's tackle the most crucial aspect, your diet. Now, hold on a minute, don't go running for the hills just yet. We're not talking about any kind of extreme, unsustainable diet here. What we're advocating is a balanced approach to eating, one that nourishes your body and fuels your day. Imagine your body as a high-performance vehicle. Would you fill it with low-grade fuel? Of course not. So why would you do the same with your body? The food we consume is our fuel. It's what gives us energy, supports our physical activity, and keeps our bodily functions running smoothly. A balanced diet focuses on whole grains, lean proteins, fruits, and vegetables. Whole grains, like brown rice and quinoa, are packed with fiber that keeps you feeling full and satisfied. They also help to regulate your blood sugar levels, preventing those mid-afternoon crashes that have you reaching for the nearest candy bar. Lean proteins such as chicken, fish, and legumes are essential for maintaining and building muscle mass. They also help to keep hunger at bay, making you less likely to overeat. Fruits and vegetables, meanwhile, are your body's best friends. They're loaded with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that support your overall health and well-being. On the flip side, it's important to limit your intake of processed foods, sugary drinks, and excessive alcohol. These are the culprits that can sabotage your efforts to lose belly fat. Processed foods are often high in added sugars and unhealthy fats, while sugary drinks can add hundreds of empty calories to your daily intake. As for alcohol, while the occasional glass of wine won't hurt, excessive drinking can lead to weight gain and other health problems. So, let's rethink our relationship with food. Let's see it not as the enemy, but as the most powerful tool we have to support our health and well-being. It's not about deprivation, but about nourishing your body with the right kinds of foods. Remember, you can't out-exercise a bad diet, so make sure your eating habits are on point, and you're already halfway there to losing that stubborn belly fat. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health and fitness tips. By hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications, you'll be the first to know when we post new content. Plus, it's a great way to support us and help us continue to deliver quality content for you. Remember, we're in this journey together, and every subscription helps us create more informative and inspiring content. So take a moment, hit that subscribe button, and let's continue with our journey to a healthier lifestyle. Now back to the video. Next up, we have regular exercise, an essential aspect of losing belly fat. Now, when we say regular exercise, it's not about going to the gym and lifting weights for hours on end. No, it's about finding a balance, a mix of cardio and strength training that suits your body and lifestyle. Cardio exercises like running, cycling, or even brisk walking are fantastic for burning calories and enhancing your overall fitness. They get your heart rate up, and as you're huffing and puffing, you're actually improving your cardiovascular health while waving goodbye to those extra pounds. And the beauty of cardio? It's versatile. You can do it indoors, outdoors, in a group, or solo. You can even incorporate it into your daily routine by walking to the grocery store or taking the stairs instead of the elevator. But we can't talk about regular exercise without mentioning strength training. Now, don't let the term intimidate you. Strength training isn't just about bulging muscles and heavy weights, it's about building lean muscle mass, which can help boost your metabolism and, in turn, burn more calories, even when you're at rest. Think about exercises like squats, lunges, or push-ups. These are all strength training exercises that you can do at home with minimal equipment. Remember, though, it's not just about the type of exercise. Consistency is key. You can't expect to see results if you're only hitting the gym once a month. Make it a habit. Aim for at least three to five days of exercise per week. Start small, maybe 20 minutes a day, 
and gradually increase your time and intensity as your fitness improves. And don't forget to listen to your body. Rest is just as crucial as exercise in any fitness journey, so make sure to carve out time for recovery to avoid injuries and keep your body in tip-top shape. So to circle back, regular exercise, a blend of cardio and strength training and consistency are your best allies in the battle against belly fat. Make exercise a part of your daily routine and you'll see results. You might be surprised, but yes, your sleeping habits can affect your belly fat. Now, you might be wondering, really? How does that work? Well, let's delve into that. Firstly, let's talk about the hormone called ghrelin. This is the hunger hormone which your stomach releases when it's empty. When you don't get enough sleep, your body makes more ghrelin, making you feel hungrier than usual. On the other hand, there's another hormone called leptin, which is released by your fat cells to suppress hunger and tell your brain that you're full. Now, when you're sleep deprived, your body makes less leptin. So you've got more ghrelin making you hungry and less leptin to tell you to stop eating. Not a great combo, right? Moreover, lack of sleep also affects your body's ability to regulate glucose, leading to an inefficient metabolism. When your metabolism isn't working as it should, your body tends to store unused energy as fat. And unfortunately, the belly is one of the places it loves to store that fat. Now let's flip the coin and look at how adequate sleep can benefit your weight loss journey. When you're well rested, your hormones are balanced, your ghrelin levels are kept in check, and your leptin levels are sufficient to let you know when you're full. This balance helps you maintain a healthy appetite and avoid overeating. Furthermore, a good night's sleep also helps your body regulate glucose more efficiently, leading to a better functioning metabolism. This means your body is more likely to use the energy from the food you eat, rather than storing it as fat. And let's not forget the simple fact that when you're well rested, you have more energy for physical activity. That means you're more likely to hit the gym, go for that run, or even just take the stairs instead of the elevator. In conclusion, don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. It's not just about feeling refreshed and alert. It's about giving your body the chance to function at its best, to balance your hormones, and to regulate your metabolism. A good night's sleep is just as important as regular exercise and healthy eating. Stress can be a big contributor to belly fat. Let's understand how. You see, when we're stressed, our bodies release a hormone called cortisol. This hormone has been linked to an increase in appetite and cravings for high-calorie foods. More often than not, these extra calories find their way to our waistlines, contributing to that stubborn belly fat. Stress can also disrupt our sleep patterns, which we've already discussed as a factor in weight gain. Plus, when we're stressed, we're less likely to make healthy choices like eating well and exercising regularly. But there's good news. By managing our stress levels, we can help combat these effects and potentially reduce belly fat. And the best part? There are plenty of ways to do this that don't require a gym membership or a drastic lifestyle overhaul. Meditation, for instance, is a powerful tool for stress management. Just 5 to 10 minutes a day can help quiet the mind and reduce stress. You can meditate in silence, listen to calming music, or even use an app that guides you through the process. Deep breathing exercises are another great technique. They're simple, can be done anywhere, and only take a few minutes. Try taking a deep breath in for a count of 4, holding it for a count of 7, and then exhaling for a count of 8. Repeat this 4 times and see how you feel. And let's not forget about yoga. This ancient practice combines physical postures, breathing exercises, and meditation to reduce stress and promote relaxation. Plus, it's a great way to improve flexibility and strength, which can help with your overall fitness and weight loss goals. So next time you're feeling stressed, instead of reaching for that bag of chips, try one of these techniques. You might be surprised at how much better you feel, and who knows, you might even notice a difference in your waistline over time. Remember, a calm mind leads to a healthy body. Water, the magical drink that can help you lose belly fat, now, let's dive into the importance of hydration. We all know water is essential for life. But did you know it's also a key player in weight loss and particularly in shedding those stubborn belly pounds? Yes, that's right. The simple act of drinking water can aid your weight loss journey in multiple ways. Firstly, water is a natural appetite suppressant. When your stomach senses that it's full, it sends signals to your brain to stop eating. Water can take up space in the stomach, leading to a feeling of fullness and reducing hunger. A person may also think that they are hungry when they are actually thirsty. Drinking a glass of water before reaching for something to eat can help to curb unnecessary snacking. Secondly, water aids in digestion and nutrient absorption. 
It helps break down the food we eat so our bodies can absorb the nutrients. Proper hydration also prevents constipation, which can cause bloating and add inches to your waistline. So, by drinking ample water, you're helping your body function better and keeping your belly trim. Now let's talk about metabolism. Water can help speed up your metabolic rate. In fact, studies have shown that drinking water can increase your metabolism by a substantial amount for about an hour. This means that drinking water could help your body burn more calories. Moreover, staying hydrated helps your body break down fat more effectively. It's like oiling a machine. If you're dehydrated, your body's ability to convert fat into energy slows down, hampering your weight loss efforts. Lastly, water can help with workouts. It lubricates your joints, supports muscle function, and regulates your body temperature, making your exercise routines more effective and pleasant. So there you have it. The Humble H2O is a powerful ally in the fight against belly fat. It's simple, it's natural, and it's readily available. So keep that water bottle handy at all times. So those were some of the best ways to lose belly fat. Let's take a moment to recap, shall we? We kicked off our discussion with the importance of healthy eating. Remember, it's not just about eating less, but eating right. Whole grains, lean proteins, and plenty of fruits and veggies should be your go-to. And let's not forget the importance of cutting out processed foods and sugars from your diet. Then we dived into the world of regular exercise. It's not just about doing hundreds of crunches. A mix of both strength training and cardio can do wonders for trimming that waistline. Don't forget to mix it up to keep your body guessing and your metabolism firing. Next, we touched on the often overlooked aspect of weight loss. Adequate sleep. Yes, folks, your body needs that rest to repair and rejuvenate. Getting in those seven to nine hours of sleep can help regulate your hunger hormones and thus prevent overeating. We also talked about stress management. Now we all know life can get a bit hectic, but constant stress can lead to weight gain, especially around the belly. So whether it's through yoga, meditation, or just a good old fashioned walk in the park, find a way to let off some steam. Lastly, we emphasize the importance of staying hydrated. Water is key in keeping your metabolism humming and can also help curb those unnecessary snack cravings. So keep that water bottle handy. As we wrap up, remember this. There's no magic pill or quick fix when it comes to losing belly fat. It's a combination of these factors that will lead to effective, sustainable weight loss. Remember, losing belly fat is a journey. Be patient, stay consistent, and you'll reach your goal. Thanks for watching. Before we wrap up, we have a small yet important request for you. If you found this video helpful and you want to embark on this journey of health and wellness with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing to our channel will ensure you get regular updates on all our latest health and fitness content. We're constantly researching, learning, and sharing the best ways to live a healthier, happier life. And we'd love for you to join us in this journey. Remember, your health is your wealth, and it's a lifestyle, not a one-time event. So if you're ready to make that commitment to your health, click that subscribe button, and let's get started on this journey together. Now let's get back to our conclusion. Thanks again for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.